Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here with Death Battle. Tonight, well, we got a battle of the uh, World Conquerors. From Naruto, we got Madara Ochiha. And from Bleach, we got Aizen. Yeah, these two are pretty much the usurpers that we all hate in anime. Yeah, let's be real, these two are pricks. Aizen, especially. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So, anyway, let's see who wins. Will be the former spirit captain or the nightmare of the Uchiha? So be sure to like subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Madara Uchiha, the legendary messianic shinobi from Naruto. Mm -hmm. Sosuke Aizen, the soul reaper who stood upon the heavens from Bleach. Mm -hmm. We may dream of glory, but these two have the will to power to take it by force mm -hmm. and claim a seat among the gods. Yep. They're the biggest, baddest anime bosses around, and not even death can stop them. Ghost versus zombie. Let's go. Pretty much. He's, He's with and I'm boomstick. boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's go. First up, bottom. Endless destruction. Countless dead. A plot to conquer the planet. The ninja world was at war. The fourth great For the Shinobi fourth war. Time, only one man could save humanity from itself from beyond the grave. The same man who orchestrated oh, all of this. In the first place in order to end all wars forever. Madara Uchiha. From birth, war was the only thing the young Madara knew. And there was, was like no the first ninja he liked war, right? more than Hashirama Senju. They're Senju basically song? ninja Romeo and Juliet. Belonging to opposing fair. clans, Madara and Hashirama <laughs> were forced to battle each other <laughs> for years, <laughs> oh, all while dreaming of a better future. <laughs> their bromance eventually overcame their clan's differences and the two groups merged, Konoha. creating the village of Konoha. But Madara wasn't satisfied with Hashirama's dream of peace through cooperation. He desired an immortal peace through total domination. Everyone. Yeah, basically, Senju wanted democracy. Madara wanted the dictatorship. Yeah, you can see who's the real villain here. Oof. Also, like, Force. Yeah, I think if I remember, it was like the infinite Tsukuyomi. I don't remember who planted the idea in its head. It was either Kaguya or Black Setsu, but let's just say Black Setsu. Basically, Madara got played. Unfortunately. Yeah, well, let me, let me, I'll, I'll dumb it down. Basically, I don't know when it happened, but Madara there encountered Black Setsu, which was an aspect of Kaguya, you know, the sealed feeling in the uh, moon nowadays. Anyway, so yeah, basically, Black Setsu wanted to revive Kaguya, so he used Madara and planted the idea of ruling everyone through the infant Tsukiyomi, which required all 10 beasts and using the uh, Tsukiyomi on the moon to pretty much put everyone into an eternal sleep. Yeah, but like I said, pretty much got backstabbed. Spoilers. Sorry. Anyway. Everyone else thought that was crazy, so he bounced. And then he came back to wage war against the village he helped build. Well, that didn't last long, huh? Thanks Madara's a lot, Madara. megalomania was perhaps fated, considering he is, in fact, the reincarnation of the demigod Indra Otsutsuki and Indra. the inheritor of his immensely powerful chakra. Basically physical and spiritual energy that makes ninja magic. Madara specializes in fire and wood style jutsus, which just seems irresponsible to put those together. Like a gender reveal party waiting to happen. His yep. wood is especially impressive, oh, storm style it's the only thing. style of elemental jutsu that can create life. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Madara can even use his Goonbai to absorb ninjutsu and return it right back to sender. You know you're a badass when you can take on armies with just a friggin' fan. Madara's torn Pretty apart sure hordes of ninja of without breaking a sweat, that's... taking a beating from every tailed beast at once, and yeah, even defeated nine. the five Kage, some of the strongest shinobi in the world. The Rai Kage is even stated to be fast that's enough to move light. at light speed. And even weaker ninja like yeah, Orochimaru have dodged literal photon beams. But Madara's greatest tool is the one born from his very bloodline, the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. 
these magical eyes massively enhance his perception down to the cellular level, allowing him to predict movements, see the flow of chakra, and summon the mighty perfect Susano. The Sharingan can also cast a Genjutsu that'll trap anyone that looks at it in an illusion, and even mm -hmm. break them out of those same illusions. In Sasuke's case, even one's as strong as Itachi Tsukuyomi, which can warp your perception of time. Itachi used it on a fellow Uchiha and made her live out her entire life in the span of one one hundredth of one one thousandth of one one millionth of a second. Damn. And when she died in the illusion, she died for real. If Sasuke could break out of it, Madara could too, easily. And after grafting some of Hashirama's cells onto himself, he now- I would always have a piece of his Romeo inside him. Bro. <gasps> This is my ship, Wiz. Stop looking at me like that. He not only gained a healing factor strong enough to regenerate from having half his body vaporized, but also the terrifying Rinnegan. AKA the big chungus of all eye magic. The Pretty ringy much. eyes let Mudder absorb chakra and ninjutsu, create invisible limbo clones, see and remove your soul from your body, and summon giant ass meteors. As if he limbo needed any more game. fucking That's powers. Insane. While the Rinnegan lacks some of the Sharingan's unique abilities, he can switch between them at will. After tearing the ninja world a new asshole, Madara was finally <laughs> defeated in a climactic battle for the ages by his BFF, and thus the life of a legendary shinobi came to an end in the arms of his one true love. Yeah, about oh, that. Get it? All right, this, this is gonna get pretty crazy, but just bear with me. Fearing a defeat in battle, Madara set a time delay jutsu that would posthumously rewrite reality and bring him back to life. And it worked! So Madara tricked another Uchiha, Obito, into witnessing his best friend murdering his other best friend. Then he tasked Obito with manipulating the world into another war. Meanwhile, he gave his own Rinnegan to Nagato with the goal of getting it back after he was brought back to life the second time with the outer path because he died again. Yeah. Make sense? Old age. Nah, that'll never work. <laughs> You're right, it didn't. So Obito went out and got the Rinnegan back from Nakato's corpse, because he died. Then Kabuto brought Madara back to life, and he got his eyes back from Obito after some backstabbing. Then he sealed the awakened Tentails within himself in order to gain ultimate power and create the world's greatest nap time ever. <gasps> yeah. Look what you people have done to him. Yeah, like I said, You'd crazy think plan. Tentail's power would be awesome, but those dinky eight balls of doom are so lame. Don't yeah, let their size fool you. These truth-seeking orbs are in another league. The Ten Tails is strong enough to wipe continents off the map, and the orbs can be shaped into weapons that will completely disintegrate anything they come into contact with. Mm -hmm. Not even ninja resurrected through Edo Tensei like Minato could regenerate limbs lost to the truth-seeking orbs, nope. which means they Basically, had to erase his done. literal spirit itself. Madara's power was so insane he was considered comparable to the original Sage of Six Paths, the dude who helped create the friggin' moon. And yeah, when Madara again, created meteors, they were large enough to show up against the curvature of the Earth. Measuring their size and estimating the height at which Madara lifted them, they'd have to possess a potential energy of at least 372 petatons Jeez, of TNT. Petatons. He was even fast enough to keep up with Eight Gates Guy, who kicked hard enough to bend space. Madara even has an attack where he hawks light speed loopies. Considering even base Madara has displayed speeds on par with light timing ninja, we know Ten Tails Madara would have to be significantly faster thanks to the Ten Tails' power. With virtually no one left to oppose him, Madara's plot was finally in the endgame. He awakened the Rin Sharingan, and with the God Tree summoned, he cast the infinite Tsukuyomi, spreading the tree's roots across the entire planet and capturing every yep. single person in the world. This would enslave all of humanity in an endless dream world, free of conflict forever. Peace. Through total domination. Manipulating this tree with his chakra would have involved physically spreading its roots through and around the entire earth in mere moments. Estimating like the tree's mass and the speed at which the roots were moved, his chakra must have released an energy exceeding one Yoda ton of TNT. And this was with just one jutsu. Is there a character that could possibly even touch Madara Uchiha? Kishimoto yeah, himself didn't even know. Madara's power was so overwhelming, the only thing that could take him down was, was treachery. From even the man with the magic from. eyes couldn't see that coming. All that was left was his old friend, Hashirama, there to comfort him in his final moments. Just like Romeo and Juliet, for never was there a story of more woe than this of Hashirama and his Mata bro. Mata bro. I read yeah. it in iambic pentameter. Is there we a know. gas leak in here? Mm -hmm. Now the real fun begins. Yeah, let it be known, Madara don't play. Unless he wants power. 
Trust me, that dude will wait forever. <laughs> and all it took was a backstab from Lexetsu to end him. Oof. Yeah, like I said, you got played by Kaguya and Black Setsu. I'm just gonna stop there, so that's Mara. Next up, Aizen. Sosuke Aizen. The Soul Society was in chaos. One of its leading Shinigami was yet to be executed under suspicious circumstances. A band of okay. humans from the living okay. world had rules. invaded to save her, and Sosuke Aizen, captain of the 5th division of the Gote 13, was dead. About Murdered. that. What dastardly mastermind could have been behind all this? He'd have to be a galaxy-brained 5D chess master. The man responsible was, in fact, so so Sosuke Aizen. Aizen. Yeah, it's his bond kind. Trust me. Only that he Listen. isn't a man, a human man, but a soul reaper. These yep. Shinigami. Shinigami are spiritual beings who ferry lost souls to the afterlife and purify those who have turned evil in the living world. They're badass anime wizard grim reaper swordsmen. Basically. Though Aizen himself was hardly that cool. I mean, just look at those glasses. Dork. Arse. But this Clark Kent was harboring a secret. Aizen had spent years attempting to develop the means mm -hmm. to ultimate power, ruining the lives yeah. of many of his colleagues via his twisted experience. Oh, so when Aizen does it, he's a super villain. But when you do it to me, it's shut the hell up, Boomstick. You're under NDA, and I know about the stuff you've done. As a Shinigami, on. Aizen's body is made of Reishi, being spirit matter, and empowered by Raryoku, being spirit energy. Entities made of Reishi Their are body, completely invisible to anyone without specific supernatural awareness, though a Shinigami's body is still tangible and can be damaged normally. And mm -hmm. with his Raryoku energy, Aizen can create incredibly powerful blasts. He's so strong, weaker beings will literally disintegrate if they get too close to him. Damn. This is due to his Rayatsu, a localized spiritual pressure exerted as a result of his enormous power. He also knows tons of Kido, or spells. He can create mm -hmm. force fields, bend the light around him to make him impossible to detect, fire mm -hmm. concentrated bolts of lightning, and absorb the energy from his surroundings to make giant ass energy dragons. I don't know, Perhaps his deadliest Kido is Kurohitsugi. After an nice. extensive incantation, Aizen surrounds his target in an enormous black coffin that distorts space and time and tears its victims apart. Aizen's blood. Yeah, he may be the fifth captain, but he's got some power. Trust me. He was able to stop some of the other captains. Remember, this guy pretty much like manipulated everybody. And there's actually one reason for that. Like I said, it's the Bankai. Basically, you hear its name, you see the blade, you're screwed. Because it's all five senses, you're done. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But, yeah. Basically, he wanted to overthrow the Soul King. To, you know, gain his power. That's why he decided to try to combine all parts of Hollow, Human, and Reaper. Or Shinigami. Yeah, he wanted to combine all three. So, ironically enough, got one in each go. But he pretty much whooped his ass. <laughs> Anyway, and finally came to fruition during the invasion of the Soul Society, where he faked his death using his greatest weapon, his Zanpakuto, Kyoka Swigetsu. A Shinigami Zanpakuto is a magical sword that possesses a sentient spirit. Kyoka Swigetsu gives Aizen complete control over his victim's senses the instant they lay eyes on the sword. This yep. complete hypnosis traps its victims in a nearly perfect illusion that Aizen can manipulate at will, making mm -hmm. himself virtually immune to attacks while his opponents are sitting ducks. It's so strong that it kept a group of ex-soul reapers known as the Visor trapped for over a hundred years without them even knowing it. It's one of the most broken powers ever and the definition of anime bullshit. Mm -hmm. But it was all worth it when he perfected his ultimate creation, the Hogyoku. An immensely powerful reality warping device that, quote, materializes the user's wishes. In Aizen's case, yeah, it realized his wrong, desire basically. to become the strongest being in the universe. With it, he can heal any of his wounds, even when half his body is vaporized. And more importantly, it exponentially increases his power over Rock time through evolution by turning him into a horrifying butterfly monster man. Being eventually strong enough to dethrone and replace the Soul King, the deity that controls the cosmic balance. Even a minor disruption to the Soul King's influence led to the three worlds of Earth, the Soul Society, and Hueco Mundo to start physically collapsing. 
Then it implied that the Soul King has to be outputting enough energy to hold all these places together at all times. Considering he should be roughly the same size, this would require an energy of over 140 zettatons Zeta of TNT. Ooh. As it is powerful enough to vaporize mountains as a side effect of a sword swing. His or casual flash. energy blasts can disintegrate huge chunks of the earth, and he can take on armies with just his Ryatsu alone. He even defeated the rest of the Gote 13 without so much as breaking a sweat. So mm -hmm. he should be way stronger than Soul Society heavy hitters like Kenpachi, who sliced this 120 kilometer wide asteroid to pieces. So that's one blow. roughly the width of Great Britain. An asteroid of this size would have to carry a kinetic energy of at least 44 petatons of TNT. 43. And Aizen was so badass, he literally transcended other Shinigami in power. He was in a whole other dimension from the rest of them. Yeesh. Until he fought he Ichigo, Ichigo Kurosaki. Kurosaki. The battle we've all been waiting for. Way before this in the Soul Society arc, Ichigo was already as fast as lightning. And by this point, after all his power boosts, he'd even be faster than light. Hell, even weaker characters like this lady can dodge light beams. Though their fight was epic, Ichigo had transcended the Shinigami as well. And yes. even Aizen himself. Feeding upon his insecurities, the Hogoku abandoned Aizen, who was quickly defeated and imprisoned within the bottommost yeah, level didn't beat of the Soul they Society's had prison. Aizen was left alone. His great power he sacrificed so much to achieve was gone forever. Until they were least was it? Somehow he ended up getting even stronger than before. But what made him so strong? Could it be the chair? It's not the chair. No. It could theoretically be due to the chair's restraints keeping his Ryatsu from properly releasing, building it up within him until he was stronger in base than he was at his previous max. Nah, Probably. it's definitely the chair. And ooh, since the chair could still hold him after he got stronger, wouldn't that make it even stronger than him? Even stronger than the Soul King? All Dude. hail the mighty chair Sama, most powerful being in you all wish. of Bleach. He even you managed wish. to hold his own against the Quincy Warlord, Yua, who absorbed the power of the Soul King himself. He even used Kyoka Soigetsu to trick him. And Yuha's a dude who can literally see every possible future all at the same time. All according to you Kenkaku, bitches. And after standing among the gods themselves, Aizen returned to captivity and pondered the meaning of his existence. Damn. Even trapped in a prison, sealed off in a different dimension with a 20,000 year sentence, he remains the most dangerous being in the world. Who knows what I mean, schemes they are brewing really behind those kill cold, him. calculating <laughs> eyes. No compassion, no empathy, only the drive for power. No one has ever stood at the top, neither you nor me from now on. I alone will stand at the top. Yeah, like I said, pretty much wanted to throw us to Soul Society for a loop. I mean, how else do you, you know, describe it? I mean, this is gonna be a wild ride. Hopefully these people want to roll the world. I mean, Madara 1 and 1, Aizen, both, like, three worlds. Like, all of reality, to be honest. But, hard to say, this is gonna break. Especially with the Sharigan. I don't think Sugetsu is gonna be a problem, considering, you know, Sasuke could do it, like, easily. So, let's see how this battle goes. Will Madara win, or Aizen? Let's find out! Oh! Wow, we're heading straight for the battle. Oh, uh -huh. there's Aizen. Madara. Uh-huh. You can see me. Yeah. I can see everything. I'm surprised. <laughs> Did you see oh. that? Here we go. Let's truck him. Here comes the other cell. Crowd in despair. Oops, the song all the time. <laughs> I would expect nothing more from a human. Sure about that? Oh, nothing. Yeah, I could try to be new. Do... Follow tricks. Don't get so full of yourself. Oh, I just need to change. Uh oh, 
Here comes the black box. Try though. And Mario has gone fine for him. Here we go. died twice for his 5D chess plan, Well, Aizen only fake died once. Aizen well, and Mara fair, were extremely Mara had a stronger evenly matched too. in raw power and speed. By our calculations, Madara spreading the God Tree's roots with his chakra was about seven times more powerful oh. than the best that Aizen could scale to with oh, his yeah. Ryoku, and Oof. both ended up being roughly as fast as each other. While there are a range of possible feats and numbers to go with to determine their limits, the point is they're always going to be close to even. Which means the main thing that mattered here were their yeah, powers and how they countered each other. Madara's enormous variety of abilities eventually overwhelmed Aizen. Mm. While Soul Reapers like Aizen may be invisible to regular people, the but Renegon still allowed Madara to see invisible spiritual beings like his own Limbo clones. Hell, the Renegon lets you see and remove human souls, and that's exactly what a Soul Reaper is. Both Chakra and Raryoku utilized spirit energy and operated in similar mm -hmm. ways, being formed into attacks like ninjutsu and kido. That meant that Madara's ability to absorb yeah. ninjutsu allowed him to nullify the vast majority of Aizen's range attacks and even yeah, dispel true. his force fields. And despite how OP Aizen's complete hypnosis was, Sharingan users can break out of illusions no sweat, even ones as powerful as Itachi's Sukuyomi. And mm -hmm. since Madara can switch between the Rinnegan and the Sharingan at will, he'd be able to break out of an illusion anytime he wanted. Aizen's illusions are nearly perfect, but fellow oh, Captain yeah. Unohana was able to subconsciously notice its flaws. With an eye as perceptive as the Sharingan, which can spot imperfections in Genjutsu's all the time, it was only inevitable that Madara would be able to quickly break <laughs> out. However, the same couldn't be said for Aizen, who never showed any resistance to the kind of mental illusions Madara can create. Even what? setting illusions aside, the sheer quantity yeah, of offensive sorry. options at Madara's disposal, whether it be his clones, meteors, or monsters summoned by the Rinnegan, kept or Aizen the constantly bars. on the back foot. But none of that mattered if they couldn't kill each other, and both had pretty insane healing factors that could recover from just about anything, except for those pesky eight balls of doom. Yep, Madara's the truth-seeking truth balls. seeking orbs were capable of completely molecularly annihilating spiritual beings and preventing them from regenerating. And mm -hmm. again, Aizen was a spiritual being. Since Aizen lacked the ability to do the same irreversible damage to Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha had exactly what he needed to put this actual ghost down for good. Yep. Aizen was an unbelievably overpowered foe, but Madara's own powers, illusions, and devastating truth-seeking orbs allowed him to crush the ex-Shinigami. 
Zosuke should have kept his eyes on the prize. And yeah. do you feel any shame at all? Probably not. Ah, moderately. Ha! Ah, double pun. Suck it, Wiz. There you go. The winner Fork on the is rhymings. Madara Uchiha. <laughs> I wonder how much work goes into the puns. I'm kind of curious now. Well, anyway, there you go. Madara Uchiha manages to all illusion Aizen. Yeah, and to be fair, Aizen had no counter against illusions. Like, Sugetsu puts people on illusions, but he's got none. Ouch. So, this is pretty much a win for Madara. Considering, you know, once he was on that illusion, he was screwed. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like, subscribe for more. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys around. See ya.